I work with Glenn Ballard. He's a well-known producer and uh, record producer and songwriter in L.A. I uh, have a work a space that I work at at his place, and he is business partners with William Holloway. William Holloway is a cousin of Laura Laura Duque. So Laura was saying, I need a great pianist uh, and composer for this movie that I'm thinking about doing. And William put her in contact with me. And so Laura and I got together and she told me about the project and it sounded really, really interesting to me. Uh, so that was basically how I got uh, It was very interesting to me because it's about a composer. It's about a composer who stopped composing and he's tuning pianos. Um, so I could kind of relate to this also because I'm a composer who doesn't compose all that often. Um, so I related to the character of Rodrigo and uh, I liked the... Uh, disturbing aspect of the uh, obsession that the composer has with this, uh, with Susanna in the movie. Um, and it was all very interesting to me. And also the opportunity to, to create different pieces, piano pieces that I could then use as uh, part of the score as well. Because I love when music is uh, in the movie as part of the movie texture, but also you can use it as part of the score because it ties um, everything together, which I love. I mean, from the beginning, Laura um, said there are, <clears throat> there are, I think there were seven pieces or something like that, and they all had to do with a different personality, a different man that Susanna had been with in her history. Um, so they all had to have a different, um, but we talked about having piano, a different piano piece for each of these, uh, personalities. Uh, this was even before the script was, uh, finalized. Uh, so I started composing right away for, um, uh, for these different characters. I'm trying to remember what I uh, what I did first. Um, yeah, it was that one. It's the one that appears in the it's the end of the picture when uh, um, uh, the uh, friend of Rodrigo is playing it on the piano. It's the last scene in the movie. This. Uh This, it's this piece, yeah. which I thought was kind of a haunting recollection of things that had passed before, you know, and it just, it wound up being the best place for it was um, in the end of the movie, after all of these things and horrible things had transpired. And uh, so it wound up being the last, uh, the last piece in the movie, which I thought was a good it was a good place for it, but that was actually the first thing that I wrote, <laughs> the first thing that I wrote, which is funny. There wasn't really, there wasn't really a theme for Susanna. I mean, the only thing that was, there was a very sweet theme that I used for Rodrigo and Susanna, which is the, it was kind of the, this was like first romance kind of thing. It's very simple theme, just this, 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 um, which starts the movie. You know, this one. It's just very sweet.
you know, it's like all the all the promise of love to come and just the the you know beauty of romance and just it's so simple and so innocent and everything, you know, and it started starting the movie with this with the piano only but it's actually what's happening in the movie. It's like since it's a the time is moved around, you know, the it starts with the end of their relationship. Um so it be, it's bittersweet also, you know. And that's kind of the theme that is for Rodrigo and Susanna, which recurs at different times in the movie, in their relationship. But as the obsession happens with Rodrigo and the and the relationship starts to go down the pipes, um, these different obsession themes come in, you know. This obsessive kind of thing that starts, you know, just this... like the it's like the beginning of it it's like this haunting little but it's a thing that gets under your skin like obsession does and it doesn't let go you it start it's it it has a like a snake you know it wraps around you and inside of you and you can't let it go and that's what i wanted with this you know obsession theme uh I mean, just places where I wanted, where I felt there should be music in the movie, and it ended up not necessarily being music there. I there was a tra challenge for me to let it go, and and understand the filmmaker's um, intention, and honor his intention for uh, for these different scenes. <laughs> Andy Kerber. I'm the composer of the score Fragmentos de Amor, and I'm inviting you to please go and see the movie Fragmentos de Amor. It's fantastic. It has all the elements of love, romance, obsession. It's fantastic.